in the September 23rd issue of Jack. Dengus et al. are taking a look at the long-term outcome of PCI versus cabbage and insulin and non-insulin treated diabetic patients. And this is results from the Freedom Trial. And in an accompanying editorial comment, Stephen P. Marso, MD, looks at whether the final chapter on this particular issue has finally been written, thanks to Freedom. And uh, Dr. Marso, you're Professor of Medicine and Medical Director of Interventional Cardiology, University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center. I am. And tell us about the Freedom Trial, because this is really a kind of a fascinating story, and it's been around for a while. Refresh our memories. It, it is. And and I have to say, I've been interested in diabetes and cardiovascular disease my, my entire career for 15 years. And, and the Freedom Trial is an incredibly pivotal, a landmark trial really, looking at you know, angioplasty versus and PCI techniques versus cabbage in patients with, with diabetes mellitus. So it is an incredibly informative trial um, f to be sure. Now, what, what were the results that they first came up with? Because this has been a while. This is not the first time we've heard from Freedom. No, that, that's exactly right. Um, the investigators published it um, now a couple of years ago, and the Freedom trial demonstrated in 1,900 patients that bypass surgery was superior to PCI techniques in people with diabetes and multivessel disease. And the benefit was really impressive. If you look at the primary composite endpoint of, of all cause mortality, as well as a significant reduction in MI. And you know, my bias is that one of the things that drives the adverse events in people with diabetes is non-fatal MI risk. It's two to four times higher than anybody in the population. And it's true that we've driven down the MI rates with you know, statin therapies, uh, aspirin therapy, but still people with diabetes have a really high proclivity to have a non-fatal myocardial infarction. Bypass surgery is better than angioplasty in, in freedom. So now in this new data that's been published in Jack, the, uh, what's going on here? Yeah, so you know, clinicians have to generalize the results of freedom to their practice. And, and one of the ways you do it is to try to figure out subgroups of interest. Um, and, and in general, you should generalize the results from freedom to everybody, but it's hard to do that in clinical medicine because you know, freedom was a sub, sub, sub population of, of who we treat. So clinicians look at things they can understand, insulin treatment being one of them, complexity of disease like the syntax score being another one. And the Dangus article helps to describe the treatment benefit in, in patients with diabetes who are managed with insulin. Tr historically, insulin is a marker of risk, and Dangus showed that, that if you're treated with insulin, the risk goes up, and, and that's true in the Freedom Substudy. What the syntax trial demonstrated was that the treatment effect in insulin-treated patients, and Syntax randomized people to bypass surgery and stent techniques. Syntax showed us that if you were treated with insulin, the treatment effect with cabbage was higher than in oral-treated patients. In fact, PCI in that subpopulation was actually better, numerically better than bypass surgery. One extrapolated, Dengus would have, in, in Dengus we would have expected that the treatment effect of bypass surgery would be higher in insulin-treated patients versus non-insulin. It wasn't true. The treatment effect was numerically lower than oral-treated patients. Does that diminish the effects of freedom? Absolutely not, it's a sub-study. They're directionally similar, but the magnitude of benefit, in my opinion, is lower than what would have been expected, like say from Syntax or other clinical trials. So does this kind of solve the debate that people have been having for a few years? Well, I think it's another line of evidence um, in line with the Bar original Barry trial and the Syntax sub-study of people with diabetes. Freedom's the largest, you know, most definitive clinical trial. So I think the evidence and the guidelines will change based upon this trial. And the guidelines will suggest, in my opinion, that cabbage would be preferred over PCI in people with diabetes and multivessel disease. From a clinician and a, and a researcher who's, who's vested in the space of diabetes, it doesn't answer all the questions. Like many trials, other questions are raised. Right. And, and really, a lower risk person with diabetes, one vessel, maybe two vessel disease with a syntax score less than 22, where the treatment effect is less than with higher disease, those are unanswered questions. And you know we'll have to figure that out over time. Freedom was a, a pivotal trial, it was informative, and I think clinicians should use this information daily in their practice. Well, I think Dengus et al. have done a tremendous job here, and this is being published in the September 23rd issue of JAK, so please check that out. And for more, please go to Cardiosaurus World News. I'm Rick McGuire.